one, I just like the Kimura. And um, I'm gonna show you how I set it up to make the back a bad situation for the opponent, for my opponent whose back I have. So I brought Cash. Miss Cash. I ain't seen him in ages. He used to come to every class, and then he got a girlfriend, and then it's like, anybody seen Cash? I ain't seen him in ages. So I got my Kimura grip. So instead of a seatbelt grip, I'm looking for a Kimura grip on the back. Now, most of my attacks that I'm going to show you tonight is when he does good fundamental jiu-jitsu, and he goes in the direction that the choke hand is pointing. But the first one we're going to address is if he goes the opposite direction, because if you roll with me enough, you know, like, oh, no, I don't want to go that way. So he goes this way. Or sometimes I just push him this way because I want him to chill out for a second, especially like they're really spazzy and athletic. So we'll go this way. Then I'll take this hook out. I will push the leg forward, hook, and then I do this. So I just sort of stretch out. And the problem for Cash is trying to get out. Like, can you turn away from me? No. Can you turn into me? No. No. So sometimes if I get a spazzy white belt, I'll just chill out right here. And it's like, he can't put his back to the mat, which is what he'd like to do, because of the way I'm twisting his body. And of course he can't turn to the right. Turn to the right? Put your back to the mat? Yeah, it's a problem. Now, it's not like it can't be escaped. It can be. But a lot of times, maybe because I'm 55 freaking years old, and I go with these young athletic guys, it's like, I need to just put this dude on chill for a second. I'll put him on chill over here. I'll just hold him for a while. And then I'll let him strain and fight to try to get out. And then when I feel like his energy's going down a little bit, then I just sort of set up my attacks. So I'm conserving my energy and one, I'm just trapping him. And for tournament jiu-jitsu, the beauty of this particular hold is that when you have somebody's back or you have somebody in the mount, you have no obligation to advance your position or do anything. Literally, you could hold them for the rest of the match, as long as you're up on points, and do nothing. And just like, okay, bro, good luck. Figure out how to get out. So we go here, went here. I take the hook out, push it forward, and then I stretch. So part of the key is I'm pulling his leg back as I hold. And it makes it very difficult to try to turn to your right. Yeah. Put your back on the ground. Yeah, it's a problem. Whereas when I just have the hooks, him turning and putting his back on the ground. Go ahead. It's a little bit easier. See how he moved out? Now, you know, we're starting to look at each other and he's, he's getting into a good position. Maybe I go to the mount, but holding the back is more problematic. So sometimes I need to abandon these double hooks. I never want to cross my ankles because I don't like to get ankle locked. So I don't cross here. But if I move this leg up, I can cross here and then I stretch. And then with this stretch, now it's like, okay, figure out how you're gonna get out. And it's possible, but it's problematic. Cool, is that it? Yeah, dad joke for me today. Okay. I'll just tell you dad jokes until you escape. That'd be great. So we go this way, take the foot out, push his leg forward, and sometimes, I can get this, or sometimes I can only get this. It depends on you know like how big the person's leg is. But I get this and I stretch. And I'll go ahead and turn to your right. Yeah, it's a problem. Put your back on the ground, maybe that. Yeah. But sometimes people try to turn into my guard. It's like, yeah, it's a problem. So sometimes when I just want to stop it, it's like, hey, I need to catch my breath. I've been rolling around. This guy's moving like a Tasmanian devil. I need to slow this show up. I just put him in that spot and then let him think about life. And then wait till I get my opportunity because opportunities start to happen. The more I can frustrate somebody 
and hold them in a position like that, the more I can provoke them to make a bad decision and stop protecting their neck or stop you know, having a good defense. And then a lot of times, I just get an easy submission because they move away from good jujitsu just because they want to get out. So that's my strategy in this particular move. So I want you to feel how difficult it is, and then we'll take a look at some submissions next. So let's have our ladies team up over here.